Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with yet another AITA story for you. This one is Am I the Astronaut for Jumping Out of a Bathroom Window to Avoid My Mom's Attempt at Forcing a Reunion Between Me and My ex fiance Some backstory, I had been dating my ex fiance Sarah, for four years. We had been planning to get married in November of 2020, but I found out at the start of this month that she cheated on me. She begged me to give her another chance, but I broke it off. The problem was that being cheated on is, in my mind, completely emasculating and humiliating. So I never told anyone that was the reason we broke up. For obvious reasons, Sarah also didn't tell people we broke up because she cheated. So people have blamed me for the breakup, including my mom. They just see that I dumped her out of the blue. I've gone very strict no contact with Sarah after I discovered she was cheating on me. Sarah has been talking with my mom and has convinced her that if we could talk one more time, we would be able to reconcile. My mom has been applying hardcore pressure on me to talk with Sarah, but I've explained that there's no chance we will ever get back together. So tonight I went over to my mom's place because she's hosting family for Christmas Eve. I'm there a bit talking with my aunts and uncles and cousins when the doorbell rings and I can see it's Sarah. I ask, WTF is going on and my mom says she's invited Sarah so we can work this out in the spirit of the holidays. I'm pissed now because the only way to explain my side of the story is to tell everyone I was cheated on. Complete humiliation in front of my whole family. So as my mom goes to the front door, I go into the bathroom. My mom starts knocking on the door saying that I need to come out and talk to my ex like an adult. I say, F it, kick out the window screen and get in my car and go home. My mom called a short while ago saying she's cutting ties with me over my behavior. She's really fixated on me jumping out of a window and that Sarah will always be like a child to her. My sister called me after to ream me out for ruining Christmas. I broke down and told her that Sarah cheated on me, which is why I dumped her, and didn't want to see her under any circumstances. She called me a big asshole who's lying to cover for myself. Am I really in the wrong? Obviously a little bit of an older story. The situation is, it's if he would have come clean about it, which he doesn't have anything to be embarrassed about here. It's, I think this is, a lot of people take this, this stance if they get cheated on. And I get it. They take the stance of there's obviously something wrong with me. And that's embarrassing. The fact that I got cheated on is embarrassing because it means that I have some kind of deficit. And he was embarrassed by that. I get being embarrassed by that. However, look what happened. And if you knew that your mom was applying hardcore pressure, do you want that to stop? You're going to experience pain either way here. I guess that's the question. What kind of pain do you want to experience? Do you want to experience a short burst of embarrassment when everybody finds out? Or do you want to experience this elongated, dragged out pain because everybody's trying to get you back together to the point where you have to kick out a window and crawl out a window to escape these scenarios and now your whole family's pissed off at you? Here's the funny part. I don't like using the term man up, but if OP did man up, in this situation, instead of running from it, that might have been the the rebalance or the boost in masculinity he needs to, to recover from being emasculated in the first place. This is just letting it ding him further. It's letting it letting it stick further, letting it drive into his confidence further because it's allowing him to or it's forcing him to behave in ways that he wouldn't previously have behaved. And I understand like it's a huge deal and it's going to follow him around for a while and it stings and it hurts. But your family would probably be understanding if you told them the truth from the get-go. And now you are trying to tell the truth and they think you're lying. Well, it's because you're saying it when you're in trouble for crawling out a window and ruining Christmas. So yeah, probably should have done that a little bit differently. Which means, there it is. Obviously, it's a super serious thing that everybody deals with differently. However, in this case, he's by not dealing with the pain of people of his family knowing because he's embarrassed by it, he's creating a different kind of pain. And now he's experiencing both. He's embarrassed by it. And now he's also experiencing this drama that didn't have to be there in the first place. His mom would probably not push for him to reconnect with her if she knew what happened. He's experiencing more pain than he would have if he had come through it. If he did stand up and say, look, this is what happened, and I have more self-respect than to take someone back who's done this to me, so no. That would be a confidence boost for him. It would allow him to draw a line in the sand to create some boundaries, and his family would probably respect that. Certainly, I can't imagine that they would push for him to stay with someone who had done that to him. Certainly not invite them over for the holidays. So he could have done this differently. It's either could have or should have. He's the one that experiences the, the bulk of this pain, so I don't know that I can say should. He could have saved himself some pain. He could have saved himself the other kind of pain by coming clean with it. Well, I guess he did inflict some pain on the family who was there for the holidays and had to endure this drama because he didn't come clean about it. And his mom invited his cheating ex. So maybe he should have done it differently. Let's go ahead and roll with that. A three should have done it differently, man.
I get it. And I get that's a huge deal. However, you experienced a lot more pain than you needed to here. The mom meddling with this, I get it. But the mom also didn't know what happened. As far as the mom knows, it was just like a poof out of the blue thing. And maybe how long had they, be, had they been together? Four years. Four years. So she was probably close with the family. She was probably used to coming to events and not knowing the context of anything. Mom just thinks it was just like poof. Like, oh, my son just got bored. My son just up and one day decided he did not love her anymore. And I think he's just going through a phase. He'll come out of it. I need to do right by him and make sure that she's still around. It was his choice. She shouldn't have meddled in it. She probably thought she was doing the right thing for him because she didn't know what the F happened. But he could have prevented all of that. If anybody is a major asshole here, it's the ex for doing what she did. But then also playing along and being like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mama C, I done nothing wrong. I'd love to come to Christmas dinner and try to reconnect with your son. He just won't have me around at all. Yes, ex was a major asshole. She, my assumption here is, because we don't know any differently, is that she is trying to minimize the cheating and is trying to pretend like everything is okay and just push forward. Um, and he obviously is not down for that. But you got meddling mom here. She got him a Christmas present. It was his cheating ex. He tried to return it. She didn't like that. 